Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the most important support and resistance levels to be trading from going into the halvening. Yes, we have the halvening coming up in exactly 9 hours 24 minutes or, be to, or to be more precise, 64 blocks to be mined until we get this halvening event. This is a very big and hyped event ladies and gentlemen but what I am going to be going through is why I couldn't care less whether the halvening was in nine hours or 109 hours because at the end of the day all we need to make money here is the technicals is the charts do not trade off of a halvening bias trade the charts that's the recipe that you need to print money and printing money is what we're doing right now and that is because we have this amazing amazing channel that has come back into play honestly if I could marry a if I could marry Bitcoin or marry a chart to be more precise I would marry this chart because it has just been it's been so nice indeed. Okay, so we are back in the old channel that we were in last week. And honestly, this just gives me, it just gives me a very warm feeling inside. I'm a very sad individual when it comes to trading. But yeah, this makes me feel extremely happy uh, because this was the old channel that we had last week, isn't it? This was obviously where we were, were rotating from highs to the lows, to the highs, to the midpoint, to the monthly, to the back test of the channel, to the break of the monthly, to the back test of the monthly, bringing us up to 10k. 10k obviously a big milestone okay so at 10k we had we, you know, we briefly broke above 10k you got your trap longs from people trying to break by the breakout of 10,000 people expecting continuation obviously didn't happen you then also have people that are taking profits from lower down 10k big psychological number and then you obviously have people taking shorts at this 10k region at the very least expecting a pullback so uh, I'll explain one of the positions I'm in and that is a swing short position so on my swing trade account I'm in a short and let me briefly explain the theory behind this before we get over to what's happening here um, basically my original trade idea uh, was to go over this uh, head and shoulders position really so I was looking for the shorts obviously you can see there ended in around 9972 and it was trading off of this head and shoulders idea uh, where all I wanted to do was take the liquidity down here at the lows. Okay, so I really wanted to take that liquidity. You can see how it traded in the end, though. We only hit, well, for me anyway, take profit one, which was a uh, resistance support flip, and then take profit two of here. And I was looking for my final, which was not not a lot left of the position, but take profit three at the liquidity of the lows. But as we can see here, we never took it. We never took it, and we got a secondary bounce back up. So for me, because we never took that big liquidity region, instead of, you know, going into a long thinking, okay, the head and shoulders hasn't to trade it out, what I done was I compounded my short. So if you don't know what that means, it means obviously at my take profit two, I took 90% of my, you know, I took 90% of my profits at this trade. But instead of then just leaving this with 10% in the short, which is, is not enough to make any money, what I done was compounded it back on. So that means add again to my short position. Okay, so I'm adding, you know, increasing my short position size here. And that then gave me an average entry 9933. And then I compounded it again as it came up a little bit higher once more. And I have an average entry of that short position. Uh, 9965 so 9965 was the overall and so the theory behind this is really important that you understand so obviously originally in a short from a head and shoulders idea we do not take the liquidity so instead of thinking that this is it I compound the short position to trade it because you know the way that I trade as like as you know highlighted here that the amount of liquidity of that level is going to be massive so when there's so much liquidity the way that I view it is it's price is drawn to it so price is going to be drawn to it it was in my opinion very unlikely that we didn't take the liquidity on under these lows especially when you left three peaks below it one two three there was just so much there and it that, that's simply why I compounded that short. Did it trade out nice? Absolutely it did. What we had was the breakdown. And then upon this breakdown, I did take a long position for a day trading position. And that was a day trading position off of CVD divergences. And uh, yeah, in the end, I only managed to hit take profit one which was really, really simply from the long here, we just come up and we retested the old support and resistance level. So 9,750 was my take profit one. And obviously on the rest of that position, I got stopped out as we dropped that down. But you know, that's part of the game. 
Uh, but yeah, left me in obviously my swing short position. Day trade long got stopped out after hitting take profit one. And then that left us to this drop down. Okay, so now I want to go over what we have now. Okay, so if we zoom into the charts a little bit here. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let's calm this down and let's go over some TA. So what we can see here is we, we, really, really is just lovely. The way that we have came in back into this old channel. Okay, so this old channel that we had totally unedited. And this is as a tip. I always say never remove a parallel channel when you've seen one respected like this you just always keep it on your charts to refer back to it because you'll be totally surprised the amount of times that these old channels come back into play it's just absolutely really really wonderful uh so what do we have here we obviously can see that we have uh you know on that big drop down that we had originally okay that big drop down we held the low of this channel you can see here wick through wick through wick through wick through wick through from the low of our channel push back up where do you push back up to? The middle of our old channel. So again, resistance, 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 middle of the channel. Okay, so the middle of our old channel now acting as resistance as it was once support there. Okay, and then you can see the breakdown. And here what we had was a break to the dot 786 Fibonacci level. So that in the end held you up here as well as taking some of the lows. Okay, and you can see you come back up, you hit the low of the channel, which in my opinion is like a little bit of consolidation under resistance. My viewpoint, I'll show you a print screen. And my viewpoint yesterday, and this is what I was obviously posting in my uh, trading group, that we had, um, you know, I was expecting this to push back up and test 8,800. And my exact words here, I would be very surprised if we do not test 8,800. My opinion was that it was, it was going to happen. Uh, so I guess you can't be surprised that we did retest it. So right again on that prediction. Uh, as you can see here, the high of this wick coming in at 8,834. So that was a very nice prediction indeed that we did retest that level. So now we have retested that level. And I took along on the break into that channel again. And uh, yeah closed out as, as we hit 8,800 and then took a another scope trade off the dot 382 hit take profit one and I'm still in that one because of the fact I hit my take profit so um yeah then how are you left to trade this right now well in my most humble opinion you just got to be going off of this channel it's just been absolute it's just been really 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 nice uh so as you can see it's it's even still being respected now so even as we speak sort of things so even as we speak you can still see i mean this is to the exact dollar this one so you can see the drop down that you had here the exact dollar to my channel low bought back up okay we have now had another drop back through so what i can say locally okay so locally we are now in a series of low lower high lower low lower high lower low here so does this put in a lower high and we drop down through absolutely a possibility here but what the way i like to trade and another tip that i'll give you here is you always want to trade a channel or a range okay and not necessarily expect to break out so quickly um ch ch you know bitcoin especially it does range longer than what anybody thinks okay and a lot of people lose money by premature prematurely or what's what's the right word i'm looking for I, prematurely yeah i think that's a word um you know expecting a breakout so people right now will be shorting where I view this as support. So whereas many people would short here, for example, expecting the breakdown and continuation of, of the downtrend, I would always say you're better off waiting for this to be lost because in the way that I trade, this right now is support and you do not short support, okay? You want to be shorting resistances, longing supports, okay? Obviously, if you do something like this and you lose it and backtest it and lose it, well, then that invalidates your position, okay? And if you were in a long right now, I haven't actually longed this exact low, by the way, but nevertheless, if I did long this exact low, then I would obviously take a loss if my idea is invalidated. I think you, one thing that's very important, okay, is you have to be able to take losses in trading, okay? We all have to understand that losses are part of the trading game. It, it is unrealistic to expect a 100% win rate to last years. And, you know, it's just impossible and, and an unrealistic expectation. So what you have to be open to as a trader is knowing when your trade setup has been invalidated. And that does mean close out of a position so yeah i would say this for me is a long position right now uh, so i'm probably going to act on this at the end at the end of this video if i'm honest and expect this range to continue okay if we lose my channel low that's my invalidation okay unless it's a long wick through okay and i'm, I'm happy with that but nevertheless um at the end of the day here what we can also acknowledge is that we do have contract contracting my words right now this is not a good video uh, we've just been constricting price action okay so with our lower high being put in there okay and then really simply off of this higher low 
you can see we do have the possibility that we do also form a bit of a triangle going on in here before we obviously get that bigger break to the upside or we lose it and we come back down and challenge these lows does that in a swing failure pattern okay and you get something like this where well, we challenge those lows, okay, lose those lows and come back up. That's obviously time Time will tell. But, um, you know, this is kind of my idea at the moment, okay. I'm going to be really simply trading my channel, okay. I don't care about the halvening. I think everything that I need to know is on the charts, okay. So the story, the narratives, everything is on the chart right now. Block the news, block everything that you'll hear today. They're just trying to push narratives. They're just trying to push biases. What do we know as traders? We do not trade a bias. We trade the chart. We're open to being wrong in our analysis. We are, you know, acknowledging we can be wrong. But at the end of the day, we, uh, you know, we believe we have the probabilities in our favor and, you know, we will trade this until proven otherwise. So, yeah, the way that I would look at this is a long right now from the bottom of the channel. If we lose that channel, then we can look to a short. So some really key important levels for me, okay, in terms of support and resistance. Obviously, the middle of the channel, which we can clearly see is acting right there as resistance. Obviously, coming in at around 8,800. The high of the channel coming in here at 9,050. And then my monthly coming in there at 9,339. So those are three big resistances. Obviously, if you claim each of these resistances, naturally, you push on higher to higher levels. But those are the three local resistances. Yeah, if you come up to these levels, you absolutely could short squeeze and head up higher. So that's something to remain, you know, vigilant of as you if you push up to these higher levels. And uh, alternatively, we lose this channel, we lose back again to 786 and we break below the lows with no swing failure pattern. Then, yeah, that's that's looking, you know, really bearish indeed. We have finally got the pullbacks after our seven green weeks in a row. Um obviously with our first red yesterday coming in and you know if we lose this channel then and you lose you lose that 8100 low well then yeah you have a little bit of support coming in at 7800 so 7,800, 7,161, and then 8, 6,833. So those for me are the, the big supports, the big resistances, and how I am trading this uh, back in back in my old lovely channel. Um, yeah, absolutely love it, if I'm honest. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's my technical analysis. That is my uh, viewpoints on the chart here on how you just really, really simply... Uh, you have to block out the news that's going to be pushed at you today, okay? You're going to see people bullish and bearish over the half, okay? So there's all these different opinions, and at the end of the day, it's, it's just confusion. It's just confusion you do not need. All you need is this chart, okay? And I think I can make that very obvious because all I've used is the chart, and I've done it in extremely, extremely good trades here let's be honest so uh yeah i'm very proud of that very happy and uh yeah there you go back it back into this channel that we once had and um yeah <laughs> um yeah that was obviously brilliant so um <clears throat> yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this analysis i hope that has brought your attention to the charts to some important levels i want to see hope that you smash it you know fully smash this this halvening um you know if you stick to the charts here and trade them with no bias uh you, you honestly don't see any reason why you couldn't uh you know if you want my real time updates if you want to know how i am personally going to be trading this in the real time and then obviously to get those sort of updates, it's all across in the champions group where you can see my, my ideas like this. Obviously, they trade out very well. So um, if you if you need that help or assistance, uh, as well as obviously the main focus is trading education. So if you want to learn how I do all this, then chartchampions.com. Um, and yeah, if, if not, I hope you enjoy trading the halvening. Hope it goes well for you. Have a uh, brilliant day and yeah, enjoy it. Cheers. Thank you. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye.